All right, so there's a lot going on in this video. Uh, here we're going to start a Node.js web application, which is a fork of an open source project created by Luke Mosgrop, who works at the BBC. That gives us this little administrative interface that we'll come back to. But next we're going to start a little Rust application that will capture our webcam and also in the background run GSTWPE, which is GStreamer plugin that creates a video stream representing a WebKit web view in WPE in real time. Uh, that creates a video stream. Both the camera input and the GSTWPE stream results are composited into a single stream, encoded and sent up to this Janus WebRTC gateway, which other people can open up and see the results. As you can see, this is all happening in real time, which is pretty impressive all on its own. But then using this administrative interface, we can update the WebKit web view uh, that is being projected on a transparent background to do things like note the time or that it's live. Uh, we can put things in different sections of the screen, which are styled in their own unique ways, which is all just using web technology, which is pretty great. To demonstrate that this is all happening live as video, including the WPE web view, uh, we have this rolling text, which is sort of like a stock ticker or live news update ticker at the bottom, which you can see is about to update on the screen. There you go. Uh, so this is actually really, really fun to play with. It can do lots of interesting things. This is a way that you can maintain all of your stream for your broadcast. Another thing you can do that's really common uh, is things like football sports scores. So that can do anything that you can really do with web technology. So you can overlay uh, symbols and icons and specially color the teams, update their sports scores. So this is really just a lot of fun. Uh, 